Hello, and welcome to this how-to video brought to you by The Office Shop Incorporated. In this video, we will walk through the steps in downloading a Kyocera print driver and installing a printer on your Mac computer. Let's begin. In a web browser of your choice, navigate to kyoceradocumentsolutions.us. On Kyocera's site, click on Support. Now click Download Center. On the Download Center page, you can scroll through the list of devices till you see your product name, or in the Choose an Option field, type in the model number of the product you have. In this example, I will search for a Task Alpha 2553CI. Click on your model listed below in the search box. This new page will give you more information about your product, such as drivers, documents, and software. To get a list of drivers, make sure that Drivers is selected. Kyocera's site should auto-detect the operating system you are using. If it does not, click on Change and choose your computer's operating system. In this case, my operating system has been detected as Apple. Once your operating system is selected, the site will display drivers that work with your product. Scroll down the page till you see Mac Print Driver. Click on the arrow next to the driver. Depending on your browser settings, you may get a pop-up asking you to accept the terms and conditions before downloading. Click Accept and Continue. You can open the download by clicking on Downloads on your dock or by navigating to your Downloads folder. Double-click on the file we downloaded. In the new window, double-click on the installer. This file will look like an open box. Follow the instructions in the installer. To continue installation, you will need to agree to the terms and agreements. Click Agree. Depending on how your Mac computer is set up, you may be asked to enter your administrator username and password to authorize the installation. Enter the information here. If you do not know the information, it is recommended to speak to your IT department or to whom set up your Mac computer. Once the installer is finished, click Close. If prompted to, you can move the installer to the trash as these files are no longer needed. Now that the driver has been added to the Mac library, let's add the printer to your list of devices. To add a printer, we need to navigate to System Preferences. To do so, click on the Apple logo on the top left corner, click System Preferences. On this new window, click on Printers and Scanners. Click on the plus icon. On the Add Printer screen, it is possible that your device will show in the list. You can add it from here, but it is possible an incorrect driver could be used. To ensure the correct device and driver are being used, another method is recommended. Click on the icon next to the printer. In the address box, type in the IP address of your Kyocera device. If you do not know this information, you can get this from your Kyocera device or you can contact your IT department for the information. In the protocol section, choose LPD. In the name section, you can rename your device to something easier to recognize. In this example, I'm renaming my device as Kyocera Copier 2553. In the Use section, choose Select Software. This is where we can ensure that we are using the driver we just downloaded. In the search box, type in the model number of your Kyocera device. Highlight the name of your device and click OK. Click Add. On the pop-up window, make sure your printer's options are accurately shown. Click OK. Congratulations! You've just installed and added a Kyocera printer on your Mac computer. 
If you have any questions or need further assistance, feel free to contact us either on our website at officeshopping.com or give our service department a call at 855-333-0100. Thank you for taking the time to watch this how-to video, and we hope that you have a great day.